Hey guys, welcome back to Block Party. Third time's a charm on this one. We've got uh, the realistic STA2000 AM FM stereo receiver running here. Uh, looking really good. We've got the cover pulled off the top. Uh, it's got the walnut veneers on the, the, the walnut uh, woods on the side. The reason why this is kind of clicky is because we've got, we've pulled the lid. So uh, we've tightened this down a little bit just to show it's good. It, they, they don't wobble like this. It's just, again, it's just to pull the lid off the top. So as you can see there, uh, we've got uh, these sitting on Prime uh, Infinity Primuses 150s and uh, off, uh, using 16 gauge speaker wire. I would say 16 gauge is probably the maximum you want to use for the terminals in the back. Uh, that was it's, I mean, you don't want to go any lower than that, I should say. Um, we've got this running on a YouTube uh, Bluetooth, a royalty free channel so that we can listen to a little jazz. You can hear it. I'll run through all the different selections. And uh, yeah, you guys can make a decision based on that if this looks good to you to actually buy. Here's the Hi-Fi engine specs really quick. We've got, it's got a tuning range of uh, AM, FM. It's 75 watts per channel into eight ohms. Uh, frequency response of 15 hertz to 25 kilohertz. And we have a total harmonic distortion of 0.25%. So that definitely is contrasted to the Yamaha we just point out that was 0 0.0. 2% total harmonic distortion. So just want to point that out there. Uh, signal to noise ratio, 70 decibel, 70 decibels. And then you've got, uh, it was made in uh, 1977. So that was the year that it was created. If you go on Hi-Fi Engine, you can find all the great uh, instruction manuals and schematics and all that kind of stuff if you want to do any work with it. I would say that you could probably service it. It could probably use this. I mean, it sounds fine. We're going to listen to it. There's no there's no static on it, but I guess if you'd wanted to service it, it you know, to add some life to it, go for it. I It looks pretty good inside. Uh, none of the capacitors are really bulging or anything like that, but um, there is some, like, if you wanted to clean it, you could definitely do that. And, uh, yeah, let's let's get into it. I don't want to hold you guys for too much longer. Let's see what's, what are we going to listen to here? Let's put on some YouTube. Here we go. Put that on. <laughs> are out up here because of the lighting here so it's got a headphone port as well that works great let's put the volume up here a little bit a little static there I just wanted to show you guys. There's also, you got your little. Canceled Friday. Most of the cancellations are coming from Delta Airlines at the airport in Atlanta, like Georgia. The carrier says bad weather place. and air traffic control actions are to blame. That's the latest. I'm Dina Kodiak.
with a home run. Listen, we Trey have Mancini the... bats second. Trey's in left field. Tuning. Anthony Santander. Angel's word. Uh, there is a uh, there is an antenna on the back as well, and I'll show you guys that here in just a second. Let's uh, pull this around. The the wood on the side looks really good. Let's without knocking my phone out here. Dude, this thing is so. I'm not. <laughs> I'd be lying. I told you what's going on here. This thing is heavy. I mean, I would imagine it weighs about 40 pounds, give or take. So, lots of stuff going on in it. Speakers are, are going to be stretched, so we're just going to pull this around to the back. Here we go. We got the antenna right here. This goes up and down, and it pivots in and out like that. So, you can always adjust that. You can see here, there's just these things are pretty crusty here. That's where I said it could be used some cleaning. You see the oxidation right here. And you've got uh, our ground as well. That one works. These, these can be cleaned up. We'll probably do that. You've got these tape connections as well. Pre-outs for uh, if you want to do a pre-amplifier to this. These are, oh, we got them. I don't want to mess with that while it's turned on. I don't like it. I don't know. Superstitious. Um, you've got uh, A and B terminals here. You can do R R uh, RCA to your speakers. Here's your speaker jacks as well. Like I said, 16 gauge is what I'm running right now, so that works. That's about the that's about the maximum that I can do as far as, as far as if you're going down like 14, 12, whatever. Um, you've got this speaker terminal down here. Is oh, it's this one. This one's a little bit seized. I'll try to work on that a little bit. That one works. So just this this one right here. So we'll we'll get to working on that. Fuse looks good. You've got a you got switched and unswitched outlets right here uh, for your old school electronics, and uh, you've got a little bit of oxidation right here, and that's kind of like indicative of what's going on a lid right around this area. There was some oxidation. There's there's a little bit of rust going on. So I'm trying to get that cleaned up a little bit right now. I'll show you a in, peek inside underneath the hood. You got the heat sinks here. I don't want to touch anything. Um, like I said, this is the. Let this go down. There we go. Um, as you can see, there's just some some dirt and grime there as well as over here on those heat sinks as well, or uh, on those rails, I should say. Um, overall, I mean that's that's the main issue, and that's on the back side, and that correlates to the. The kind of like the rust and stuff that's going on with it but everything else looks really good um like i said i could just use like a nice cleaning if you're if you're a hobbyist and you're gonna take this apart clean it up tune it up a little bit um everything else like i said works really good the uh t the the stereo connector runs really nicely so um again we'll get to you guys that we'll get this as you can see i've taken all the screws off so i can pull the lid and um uh, yeah we got a couple more of these guys coming up here shortly, and uh, this will be going up in our store today. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a great Memorial Day weekend.